I'm not allowed to make any more uh, comments. King was assassinated in Memphis, Tennessee, April 4th, 1968. A group of blacks, known as the Black Panthers, also got tired of seeing their children, their mothers and fathers being brutalized by white police. They formed the Self-Defense Club to secure blacks from police brutality. The Black Panthers, a self-defense group, was founded in Oakland, California in 1966 and soon gained attention and media coverage out of proportion to its actual members. Carrying guns for self-defense and dressed in military attire, the Panthers became an easy target for the police and the FBI. Their weekly newspaper blasted police brutality, racism, and the unfair justice system. Each week it printed the group's 10-point program, which demanded trial by a jury of one's peers, decent housing, full employment, and control of black people over their own communities. Community control would be an objective espoused by many local groups. On January 1st, 1967, Huey Newton, Bobby Seal, and 16-year-old little Bobby Hutton became the first members of the Panthers and opened a small headquarters. People began to stop in to hear what the Panthers had to say, and the membership began to increase. With more members and more guns, they were able to gain the interest of the community, not only by patrolling the police, but also by engaging in confrontations with the police in front of a crowd of black people. The state legislature was considering a gun control bill, realizing that the bill was aimed at the Panthers and groups like them. Newton saw the hearing as a way to get the Panthers' message across to a much wider audience. As he explained to fellow Panthers. Now, remarks from the leader of the group, Huey Newton. You see, the nature of a Panther is that he never attacks. See, he never attacks. But when someone attacks him, then that Panther rises up. Yeah. Totally destroy and to wipe out that All right. All right. <laughs> You know, I read in the paper the other day where the state legislator is trying to pass a law against our guns. <coughs> and we're going to the capital steps. We're going to the capital steps, and we're going to take the best counters we got. Yeah. We're going to take Bobby Seals and the best counters that we got. Yeah. Uh -huh. We're going to the capital steps with our guns. Right. And we're going to read a message to the world. Because the press is going to be up there. Yeah, yeah I know the press is going to be up there. Yeah. They always be up there. All right. And they probably spread it all across the country. Uh -huh. If not that, I know they at least are spread all the way across California. Yeah. And when they do that, then we got our message over to the people. All right. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, Mr. Newton, do you have uh, time for a few questions? Maybe. Okay. Um, I, I know that you don't like the prison, Mr. Newton. We're going to make this real short. Why did you refuse to leave the San Quentin prison? Yes, I did. Thank you very much. What, what, what changed your mind to leave, leave, the prison, leave the prison, sir? At first, you, you were not going to leave, and then you decided to leave. Could you just elab elaborate a little bit on that? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Newton. Thank you. If you don't mind, would you answer a question for me, please? Do you mind? Uh, when did you first join the group? Well, you see, if I told you, my, 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 my
1966. And they started working on this in 1950. We don't do nothing now. 1985, we see that in Africa, they ain't gonna Thank you. Let me head up and take off. All right. All right. 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 I'd like to express my deep 
appreciation to all of you who helped to make this program a success. And we'd like to bring back each one of our actors individually and ask if they have something to say in party. First, Frederick Douglass. I would like to say to our people that we must continue this struggle. Even though we have let the struggle die down, it is time to pick the struggle back up. Yeah. And we must continue on what went forth in the past. We can carry on into the future. We don't have total freedom until we have all the rights, not some of the rights, but all the rights. Thank you. Harriet Tubman. I shall fight for my liberty as long as my strength lasts. And when it's time for me to go, the Lord will let them take me. Oh, <laughs> 
we'd like to thank every last one of you being out tonight. We appreciate Brother Brown. Come on out. He's the writer of the play. Brother Brown, he wrote the play. And we appreciate him giving his time and talent and effort to bring forth this program just tonight. And we decided not to have regular service, but I gave it to him to have the play for this night, service tonight. And we thank God for it. How many enjoyed the play tonight? We do have a play on videotape, and if you'd like to purchase one of these videotapes, we're going to have some ready next couple of weeks. And if you'd like to have a tape, amen, for your viewing at home, we'll, we'll, give, we'll let you know the price of it. If you'd like to purchase one to help us, amen, administrate and help us continue, because this won't be the last play. We're going to have some more plays, and Brother Brian got a sharp in his pen again. Got to get ready for another. Amen. May God bless you. Amen. Yes, before we leave, we'd like to, uh, everyone to stand. We're going to receive an offer and we're going to let you go. We did it. Yeah, y'all come on down. Let's give the actors another hand.